Okay. We just put on something real quick. It is past my bedtime, but I have to say something about this quiet quitting thing because it's starting to get on my nerves. It's getting on my nerves a little bit. It's a little bit getting on my nerves. For you, for you, for you and our generation. You know, millennials, Gen Z, listen, listen, listen. Why are you calling it quiet quitting? Okay. I am seeing these videos of young people like myself claiming that they're quiet quitting their jobs. And then when they explain what is quiet quitting, because you might be asking yourself the same thing. What? Wait, what is quiet quitting? Is this light too much? Is that light too much? Is it too much? I think it's too much. Yeah. Okay. They'll say things like, oh, it's when you go to work on time. Okay. What have you been doing? I've been going to work early. Why? <laughs> it's when you leave work exactly at 5 p.m. What have you been doing? I've been staying late. Why? <laughs> it's when like you get a work email late at night and you don't respond until, you know, until you get to work the next morning. So what have you been doing? Oh, I've been responding to emails when I'm at home, like immediately when I get them after work. Why? Okay. Okay, this is why the phrase quiet quitting is, is ticking me off. It's, it's actually ticking me off because what y'all are describing as quiet quitting is actually just working. <laughs> that is actually like what you're supposed to have been doing. I don't understand what y'all are doing. And the reason why it's ticking me off that y'all are calling it something like you, what's happening is instead of going above and beyond for free, Instead of going above and beyond for free, you're now just doing what you were supposed to have been doing this whole entire time. And in case you don't know, in case you're new to the job market, um, it is a little counterintuitive. I can understand how it's counterintuitive because, you know, the old American can do attitude and do your best and work really hard. I mean, I guess that's like the American way. But when you start working for somebody else, unless, I don't know, unless it's like a passion project or, or something like that, or like, I don't know, startups, or like it's just industry standard to work overtime and you get paid overtime, like unless it makes sense for your situation and industry, you're not supposed to do extra. Like if you start answering emails at 8 p.m. when you're at home, you're not supposed to do, <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. And if you start doing that, what you're doing is you're telling everyone who works with you that this is a boundary they can now cross for free. You know what I mean? And and they will start to expect that from you. Um, if you think going above and beyond will get you promoted, if you think coming in early, staying late, uh, doing all this extra hoopla, skipping lunch, you like literally not taking lunch, um, you know, all these other things that, like that doesn't benefit you in your personal life and your health and your mental health. If you think like doing these things, foregoing your needs for your job, if you think that's going to help you get ahead, um, I don't know, it might, it might, but many people in our generation are experiencing that it doesn't actually. And honestly, that's all I've experienced. Personally, um, I've only experienced, I've only seen with my own eyes people going above and beyond and it actually biting them in the butt, 
um, being told things like, you're so good at your position that we couldn't give you a promotion because we wouldn't be able to find someone as good as you to, you know, fill in the empty slot that you're leaving, things like that. That is what I've seen and heard with my own eyes, okay? Here's the reason why I think it's actually detrimental for y'all to call it quiet quitting because it's implying that what you were doing before is working. Like, you're implying that what you were doing before, all that above and beyond stuff, you're implying that that extra stuff is what you're supposed to be doing when it's not. It's not. Nobody told you to do that. Nobody asked you to do that. Maybe you felt peer pressure to do it or you told yourself you should do it so you can keep up with appearances or something. I don't know. I don't know. But what you do know is that stuff, that extra stuff you were doing is not part of your job description. And it's 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 not it's not necessary it's not necessary and it's cutting into boundaries it's cutting into boundaries and you're doing it to yourself you're literally doing it to yourself so when y'all call now that you're working the way you're actually supposed to be working like go to work at the time you're supposed to go to meetings where you're needed <laughs> take your lunch break leave work on time uh use use your sick days use your vacation days like now that you're actually working the way you're supposed to work you're calling it something else don't do that to yourself because you're gonna go to your next job and do this whole cycle over again <laughs> and start do jumping through hoops and going above and beyond when it's unnecessary and detrimental to you and then you'll be burnt out and then you're gonna say oh i'm quite quitting again when actually you're just working the way you're supposed to always have been working when you sign your contract with your job the quiet what you're calling quiet quitting is actually what you signed you signed to do <laughs> y'all do you get what i'm saying like do you understand why this is insane to me it, it, it just seems like you are kind of brainwashing yourself to just repeat this cycle Instead of calling it quiet quitting, just call it like that's what it's supposed to be. What you're calling quiet quitting is actually what it's supposed to be. Here's the other reason I don't like that y'all are calling it quiet quitting. You are now teaching the next generation. <laughs> you're teaching them that if they just do what they're supposed to do, that that's not good enough that they're doing something wrong. You're te that's what you're implying. You're implying that you are doing something wrong. Here's the other reason why I think it's detrimental to you. I think you're, you're lying to yourself. You're calling it quiet quitting. So it's like you feel like you're quitting, right? Because you're quitting, you're quitting your job quietly. But here's the thing, here's the truth. You're not, you're not quitting. You're, you're still working. You're still going there on time, leaving on time. You're still working there. You didn't quit. You didn't quit. Why are you calling it quiet quitting? You still work there. You did not quit. What you're calling it quiet quitting to like psychologically make yourself feel better about it. Like, like, yeah, I'm going to quit any day now or something, but no like you're not quitting you're still there look okay the way your parents worked and handled their job and their money and all that stuff that doesn't work anymore it doesn't work anymore so i don't know maybe that's where y'all learned it maybe that's why y'all are calling it quiet quitting because your parents have raised you that that's not how they did it in their day but um that is how you were supposed to do it even in their day that's what you, what you're calling quiet quitting that's what your parents should have been doing and now um for our generation if 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 you are doing too much you're playing yourself you're playing yourself so please stop calling it quiet quitting 
just realize that you're working the way you're so always supposed to have been working and the day you actually put in your notice and contact HR and say hey I'm done that's when you actually quit that then you're quitting that's when you're quitting anything before it's not quitting it, you're not loudly quitting you're not quietly quitting you're not quitting the, the quitting is not part of the equation until you actually quit okay I just had to I just had to say that I was watching if you want to know who inspired me to to make this this lady Cather out Cather out yeah um I couldn't even make it halfway I'm I'm happy for her I'm happy that she's happier um but girl for, for those of you who have used the term quiet quitting please let me know in the comments was it helpful for you to call it quite quitting? Like, did it do anything to you? Because to me, it's just perpetuating delusion. It's perpetuating a delusion that is not helpful to you. It's detrimental to you. It's detrimental to your mental health and your time and your money and your advancement in your career, too.